let's bring him on. Uh, Surin Ajaru, Aja, Aja Rupu. I'm sorry. I practiced. <laughs> Aja Rupu. Yeah. I, I'm, gosh, I, I'm killing myself over here because I, I, I spend the last five minutes reading your name. And then when the moment comes, I, I blow it. So, so I apologize. But, uh, 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 okay. CEO of Trexade. Um, let's go ahead and bring up his slides. There we go, guys. And okay, the floor is yours, sir. Just give us a cue and want to share this slide. Sure. Thank you. Appreciate that. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to Traxxer Group, NASDAQ Symbol Meds uh, company presentation. Uh, thank you for taking the time to get to know. Uh, so, of course, of the special work, what we do. Uh, before I jump into the presentation, uh, next slide, please. I know. Uh, you are all well aware of uh, Safe Harbor Statement. Uh, the information I present here today is uh, forward-looking. Advise you to consult your auditors and uh, attorneys before you make any uh, investment decision. Uh, with that, uh, as you're aware, today's trying times have shown us all the importance of good health care, uh, its timely diagnosis, and the deliverance of appropriate therapy, whether medication or otherwise. As we know, healthcare is a very complex with varying priorities among stakeholders and runaway costs with every unmanaged treatment. Additionally, consumerism demand is at all time high. The need to take one's health into their own uh, hands has never been stronger and a holistic approach to well-being is reshaping the healthcare institutions. There are many new innovative companies that are here today uh, trying to bridge those gaps in our fragmented healthcare system, but none other than the uh, Traxade in its origins. Uh, next slide, please. And Traxade's story has started uh, 10 years ago from a simple solution to help pharmacies capitalize on the pricing arbitrage of pharmaceuticals to one today that involves a grander vision of uh, bridging the gaps in health services, especially experienced by providers and patients. To simplify, Traxed Health, uh, ticker symbol again, MEDS, is a health services IT company focused on digitalizing the retail pharmacy experience by optimizing drug procurement, uh, prescription journey, and patient engagement in the United States. So uh, how will we realize our vision, you may ask? The answer lies in the patient's touch points and winning stakeholders' trust. Uh, to that end, of course, we are a firm believer um, that there is no better person than their patient's well-being than their trusted physician or a pharmacist. And Traxed is here to unify that engagement through technology to effectuate the positive health outcomes. So there are numerous qualities that we possess uh, that will aid us to achieve our vision. Uh, next slide, please. So Traxed has a, a two distinct business models. One, the business to business, the other one is business to consumer. Under the business to business model, you can see the pharmaceutical market. Uh, uh, it's a market platform uh, as the pharmaceutical market is like very large and growing, but mainly dominated by large oligopolies uh, resulting in uh, smaller pharmacies, although larger in number, uh, unable to compete uh, effectively when it uh, comes to the negotiating uh, drug purchasing or uh, insurance reimbursements. I'll explain B2C in a bit. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, total pharmaceutical market size um, tend to reach around $650 billion by 2023. Currently, most of uh, sales uh, today flow through big stores like uh, uh, CVS, Walgreens, uh, and that's around 60,000. That's not our market. Traxed focus on mainly the 21,000 independent stores that are there, the buy around 20, uh, 72 billion annually. Usually these pharmacies buy 80% of their product through large wholesale uh, like McCasson, Cardinal Health, and Amerisius Bergen. However, that concentration over the years uh, led to lack of price and cost transparency, thereby resulting in severe limitation on the purchasing choices uh, these uh, smaller pharmacies have. This is the opportunity that Traxade uh, started with. 
So we created a distribution solution um, by creating a cloud-based marketplace for U.S. independent pharmacies that bring them purchasing efficiency, pricing transparency, and means of product sourcing that meets their desired terms uh, from a multiple uh, reputable suppliers. This is not a new concept. You've seen this in other equity trading or other online trading platforms like eBay or Kayak, but first in pharmaceuticals. But the good old concept of bringing buyers and sellers together is the same thing. Next slide, please. So at a closer look, uh, a typical independent pharmacy is an owner-operated retail establishment doesn't have the bandwidth or the resources to shop around uh, for a product availability and pricing. And all the while, the Affordable Care Act uh, has begun to lower the reimbursements in an effort to save more money. Uh, um, these pharmacies are subjected to tedious, non-centralized, inefficient way to procure the drugs. And uh, that's what the Traxair provides them, alternative procurement solution uh, in order to safeguard their diminishing margins. So we're at a unique uh, position to offer them, uh, of course, the cost and time savings like never before, so that they have the time to attend to their patient needs. So the platform uh, is a, a commission-based platform like Visa or MasterCon kind of a fee, wherein suppliers pay the uh, fee uh, for each transaction, and it's a zero cost to our independent pharmacies. So the platform is growing in two ways. Uh, of course, organically, currently we have around 12,700 independent pharmacies uh, as our uh, members out of the 21,000. And uh, as I mentioned, two ways we're growing. One, organically, we're still adding around 50 to 75 pharmacies per month. Where we see the tremendous growth is uh, per wallet purchase per month. Um, that's where we're in organic growth is not acquisition, but it's per wallet purchase per month by these independent pharmacies. The typical pharmacy has uh, anywhere, they do uh, around three to three and a half million annual revenue. They buy approximately a quarter million to $300,000 worth of goods per month. Are they spending 100% through us or our platform? No, currently they're spending around 1% on our platform. That's what, where we try to see the exponential growth, the adoption of these pharmacies by uh, uh, more uh, um, on our platform. That's the per wallet per, purchase, per, wallet purchase per month uh, of these uh, independent pharmacies. Uh, move to the next slide, please. So that leads into the B2C. Uh, the mainly the business to consumer model uh, comprises of uh, our Bonham Health, our telemedicine app, uh, along with med checks and the e-health passport for uh, vaccination and COVID test results. Why we started this is currently these independent pharmacies are losing uh, these prescriptions from a telemedicine to this box chain. We want to empower our independents to uh, providing the technology, which is uh, our Bonham Health. So our current model is under Bonham Health is uh, um, delivering the convenient, affordable, non-urgent care solution to the nation's uh, almost like 40 million uninsured patients or underinsured as a result of uh, inadequate health coverage. Our niche is a membership model uh, available in all 50 states, offers up to five primary care visits for the entire family at a lower monthly subscription price, um, less than sometimes copay uh, for each doctor visit. Because it's our, ours is the most affordable solution in the market today. But our main strategy is to partner with our retail stores. As I mentioned, indirectly, we're serving our, um, uh, through 12,700 independent pharmacies, approximately 12 to 15 million patients. Why not we empower our independents, offer the telemedicine solution to those patients that are in need? So as I mentioned, our adoption strategy is very unique. Um, um, partner with the, these retail stores, uh, while other telemedicines are accustomed to spending millions of uh, dollars and, and direct to patient marketing you know, with a, a low adoption rates, while we integrate uh, with other uh, um, technologies and empower our independent patients. But our niche is reminds the same in the delivery of the medications using our uh, 12,700 
and independent pharmacies. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, the two divisions that we have, the CSP, which is a consumer uh, community specialty pharmacy or Integra solution, those two divisions are our R&D and innovation arm to explore and test our potential projects as a part of our alpha uh, phase deployments. Uh, currently, both are uh, revenue generating business subsidiaries at this time. We will continue to generate revenue while we test the new products, uh, trying to bring into the market to empower our independent pharmacies. Uh, the next slide, please. Coming to our uh, MedSax, uh, um, our e-health immunization passport division, uh, we tr entrust our pharmacy members to become a, a invaluable partner uh, to support and adapt, bringing this uh, credibility to this program. Again, the main reason we brought the, this technology is as these independent pharmacies are opening up their doors uh, to uh, execute this vaccination to the patients, we want to empower through technology instead of a paper-based so that uh, these pharmacies can uh, give those test results or uh, um, these vaccine reports uh, into the digital world. So we anticipate wide use of our app by customers to display uh, uh, immunization status. Um, of course, the technology is backed by the blockchain. As the economy opens up, whether it's air or cruise travels, entertainments and sport events, uh, sporting events, um, and uh, many other locations. Uh, this app is uh, accepted or um, launched in the Apple Store. We still have yet to be launched in Android. Uh, we have a lot of headwind because of the political environment. We will continuously support the Apple uh, Store right now. Uh, and eventually when the uh, Android opens up, with, uh, then it will be available in Android stores. The next slide, please. So today's opportunities, uh, you have well, talked so far on the marketplace and our B2C technology. Tomorrow's opportunity is what, where we see the future of track safety. So our industry is evolving as at a rapid rate with more technology and disruptions, you find ways to enter into the complex healthcare. Uh, some of the, um, these entrants are mentioned below but they solve one part of the healthcare equation, uh, which relates to the uh, pricing benefits and the convenience, but not necessarily the clinical and adherence aspects uh, related to healthcare. Additionally, of course, the smaller retail pharmacies who are being traditionally able to address patient needs have become disenfranchised and relying on pre existing adequate processes and poor, uh, poorly negotiated uh, insurance contracts uh, because of uh, their lack of operational resources, finance or marketing, et cetera. Furthermore, the consumer expectation in recent years are shifting to convenience over in-person face-to-face interactions. And with the majority of prescriptions today uh, being dispensed by the national box chains, uh, a comprehensive solution to address this broader patient needs by a smaller pharmacies is still uh, non-existent. And we want to empower our independent pharmacies by providing those tools. And that's what the track seat is all about. Uh, next slide, please. So we're well uh, suited to address this opportunity because we have the ability to uh, digitally unify these 12,700 member pharmacies and empower them to deliver exceptional patient-centric health services uh, to um, our um, potential 12 to 15 million patient base uh, that are existing direct, indirectly serving through these pharmacies. So our solution is to create a largest digital pharmacy network in the country to optimize pharmaceutical supply chain and health services delivery like never before. Uh, we want the patient's healthcare journey after they see the doctor to become one of the prompt recovery rather than uh, navigating through the fragmented pharmacy services as the case today. So patients are expected to be able to seamlessly see the doctor from the comfort of their home and get uh, same day medication delivery at their convenience. And TraxAid is at ideal position to uh, just do that. Uh, next slide, please. So we believe our solution can be implemented because 
uh, we aim to empower the existing healthcare infrastructure rather than rebuilding uh, to the determinant of today's working healthcare models. And for that re reason, it's highly adaptable by all stakeholders. Uh, Traxair has multiple initiatives in play and that are well positioned within B2B and B2C sectors that synergistically help realize our vision and bridge the gap uh, in the healthcare. So Traxair is focusing mainly in three deliverables. The first is drug procurement optimization so that we can help reduce the cost of uh, uh, these medications further. Second, uh, the digitalization of patient health services uh, as it relates to the prescription journey optimization, like uh, patients through our app be more involved, better informed on their medication, resulting in enhanced medication adherence. Like in an essence, we created a smart, um, like we are intent to create a smart prescription, uh, much like we created a smart um, drug supply chain. And this, this would allow the patient to get the right medication at the right time at a reduced cost. Of course, the thirdly, uh, the key to patient uh, care is a patient engagement and the ability to offer them a convenient um, access to the providers at all times. And of course, our telehealth and a pharmacy services program would make us a, a one-stop solution uh, for the consumers looking to simplify their healthcare non-urgent needs. Uh, next slide, please. So, so to summarize today's uh, track set is solving the problems of uh, inefficient alternate source of pharmaceutical supply chain, but tomorrow's track set will be solving the larger healthcare issues of how to deliver better care coordination among providers to optimize patient health outcomes. For that, uh, we are a building a successful uh, circle of healthcare services to, so that the, uh, for the disfranchised uh, patients, uh, we are their non-urgent care uh, pharmacy services concierge. So we believe that patients with easy access to their health records are better informed and able to engage them in their own well-being. And we are streamlining that through our uh, bottom health and metrics. So other, other journey when talking to the healthcare providers and optimize the delivery of prescriptions uh, uh, through this um, the prescription journey that I was talking about earlier. Along their journey, we'll be able to offer them prescription discounts, much like a good RX and other uh, single care discount cards uh, and a national distribution to support uh, quicker pharmacies much like Uber Health and uh, care coordination between providers to deliver right medication uh, faster, much like Optimize RX. Uh, next slide, please. So, with a strong balance sheet, you know the second quarter results uh, that uh, still sitting in the cash with a very minimal debt. Um, we continue to generate cash every month. Uh, with the last 10 quarters, so cash on cash, positive operating income, we expect to grow very rapidly from here. So what are the key drivers for the growth? Increase the number of independent pharmacies on the platform that are buying. Of course, that's the per store purchase per month, uh, which is the per spend on our site. And uh, quicker adoption on the B2C side and leveraging our infrastructure of 12,700 independent pharmacies that are indirectly serving 12 to 15 million patients to support our growth of our B2C health services programs. Next slide, please. So coming to management, my name is Surena Jarpu, even though my background is a financial background. In my last 25 years, um, I served as a CEO, founder and a board member on several private and exchange listed companies. My partner, uh, Sean Patel, and I used to own independent pharmacies. That's how we got the idea of uh, bringing the marketplace. Uh, my partner is a, a registered pharmacist, uh, pharmaceutical consultant with over 20 years of experience in retail pharmacy and pharmaceutical logistics. Uh, and as I mentioned, we're a founder of several independent pharmacies in Tampa Bay area. Uh, my CFO, Howard Doss, uh, who brings um, around almost like 25 years of financial experience serving in a variety of capacities, in, uh, whether it's in accounting or investment uh, firms. Well, uh, other I, team members, 
I, I want, I want, sorry, I wanted to jump in here, Siren, because we just we're out of time, and there's one question from the chat that I, sure. I want, I want to get to, sure. and uh, it's from Howard. How do you envision your telehealth subsidiary driving overall company sales in the next three years? Uh, yeah, that's as I mentioned. Our partnership is we're planning and uh, uh, partner with our retail stores, and I yeah. know you might have seen a lot of uh, um, press releases that we are partnering. In addition to our uh, 2,700 retail stores, we partner with Win Dixie, we partner with Spartan Nas, Kenny Drugs. Those are the partnerships that are going to drive this bottom health sales. And okay. it's a simple model; it's a subscription model, and uh, twenty dollars per month that gives them the uh, uh, five visits. So that's the growth we try to see in the next two to three years. Uh, Suwin Azharapu is the CEO of Traxade, ticker MEDS, M-E-D-S, up on the screen. Uh, Suwin, thank you so much. Thank you. Take care.